Hello everyone, today we're going to put in the 26 coins we bought from Australia Post uh, with the letters A through to Z on them in the Great Australian Aussie Coin Hunt folder which also came from Australia Post. If you open up the folder you can see inside I've actually got the spaces for the 26 letters of the alphabet starting from A going through to Z. Now you purchase the coins in a complete set from Australia Post uh, for $40 and the album costs $9 so it would cost you $49 in total uh, to put the album together. You can get the coins individually from the Australia Post in change um, however the, the coins themselves when you get them in circulation uh, may have marks and scratches on them so it's usually best to get them all in one go it saves chasing them around um, it's more convenient and the coins are in a more pristine um, condition. So let's start. I've taken the sticky tape off, but I haven't taken them out as yet, so you can be the first to see it as we do it. And if we just do this, hopefully we'll start with the letter A. So let's get the first coin. Oh, very delicate. The first coin, when we look at it, is in fact has the letter A on it. Not sure whether you can see that there. And the A itself uh, is quite prominent. And the picture on the coin appears to be an Australia Post person riding, uh, might be a scooter or a push bike delivering post. So it's simply a matter of taking A uh, on the back of the coin if you're interested. All Australian coins will have a picture of the Queen's head. In fact, that's the front of the coin, um, and the picture is the, actually defines the back of the coin. So we'll put that one in. Try to touch the coin as least as possible on the surface of the coin. Always touch it from around the edge, and that way you're not getting your oils off your skin onto that one. A simple matter of pushing that in, and there's A. Now hopefully they're in order, so I'll grab the second one delicately and looking at that one, it's a B. On the B it actually has a boomerang. These are all one dollar coins by the way too. Okay, I might ask my assistant to put that in there. Thank you, Jessica. And there we go. Uh, the next one, letter C. And this one has a picture of a cricket bat on it. So C for cricket. And we'll put C. Jessica, would you like to put C in? D. You can see that is D for didgeridoo. It also has the word didgeridoo written on the side of the coin as well. So there's D. Thank you, Jessica. Next we have E. E is for Esky, the great Australian Esky. I think our New Zealand counterparts call them a chili. Okay, and we'll put E in there. And then F, of course, F is for footy. Make sure you can see footy. There's a picture of a football there, obviously. says the words g'day a good Australian colloquial term g'day g'day mate so we'll put g in just we've got to put g in okay h is for the good old Australian hills hoist 
clothesline. So we'll put H in next, and go Jesse. Touching it from the side. Oh, you see, I couldn't quite work it out for the showing of the coin itself. I is for that great Australian biscuit called the Iced Vovo. There's a little picture there of a, an Iced Vovo biscuit. <laughs> there you go, see, look at that. J, what have we got in J? In the Jillaroo itself, it appears to be a little kangaroo um, with a couple of what appears to be figures of ladies riding horses, um, either chasing or maybe playing around with the, the kangaroo. K, well, what more could it be? K is for kangaroo. That iconic Australian animal. Everybody in the world knows about the kangaroos. And they associate that with Australia. See why they picked that one? L, this time we have L. L is for Flemington. Picture of the lamb on the coin itself. Cute. Of course, M. M. What else could it be but for meat pie? A little picture of a meat pie there. I'm hoping you can see that. There we go. Thanks, Jessica. N, they've gone for that Australian classic um, TV show called Neighbours. And so it's got a picture of a street sign, which Neighbours is set in Ramsey Street. And there's a picture of a street sign that says Ramsey Street. Again, by buying the coins in the set, there's less chance of them being touched and scratched um, in circulation, so you'd have a more pristine set if you could buy them that way. Okay, we're up to O. O is for... Oh, O is for Outback. It's got a picture of a windmill. And what else is on there? appears to be maybe the sun setting in the back, but the iconic Australian windmill is depicted on O, which is for Outback. Thank you. P, platypus, one of two Australian marsupials that lays eggs. The other one's the echidna. So P for platypus. And for those people who collect coins, the platypus was also on, is also on the 20 cent piece. Okay, we're up to Q. Q is for that cute furry little creature called uh, the clocker. Hopefully you can see that one. R, okay. R is for the Royal Flying Doctors. The central service for Outback Queensland. Such vast distances to travel. People can get to and from hospitals quickly through the Royal Flying Doctors. Thank you.
Oh, okay. S. Let's try to read it in full light here. S is for lifesavers. Actually, surf lifesavers. There we go. That's it. Nearly there. Thanks for staying with us. Um, we're up to T. T, of course. T is for thongs. Great for the trip to the beach. Coming in off the hot sand on the hot road. Put the old thongs on. Same as burning your feet on the hot sand and road. Thank you. What are we up to now? U. Okay, U is for oh, the Australian Ute. Okay, U is for Ute. Yeah, Jessica. Nearly there. Um, v. V is for. Oh, of course. There's a picture there of a sandwich with a jar of spread in it, and V would be for. That's it. Vegemite. Yippee! Okay, Vegemite. Lovely to taste. Okay. Uh, w. Okay, we've all had quite a few of those on our morning breakfast. There's our morning breakfast. W4 Wheat Bix. Okay, you can see how shiny the coins are because they haven't been in circulation. And the less you touch them, the less the oil will come out of your hands, the less they'll tarnish. Okay, so again, grab them from the side if you possibly can. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Alright, why? I'm not quite sure how they've come up with that one, but why is for a yaoi? I've never personally seen one. Um, maybe Australia Post were getting a little bit, you know, what are we going to do for a Y? But anyway, they've come up with a, a Yowie, and there's a picture of what they believe the Yowie looks like. Okay, Y. Two to go. X is for Zantipi. I'm afraid it's, I don't know what that is. It appears to be in Western Australia somewhere. But anyway, that's, um, that's X. I'm sorry, is it X? It's X, yes. We obviously got them out of order there a little bit, but anyway. We've done Y, so we're on our last one now, and that is Z, and they've come up, oh of course, those ice creams that you'd have the Zupa Dupas. Is that up the right way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zupa Dupas. Actually, in fact, some of those might have been upside down. Alright, well that's it, that's really it. I'm just going to put that one in there. see the Christmas tree in the background it was a Christmas present uh, something we kept forever and as just is showing you now the coins are nice and shiny brand new uh, try to keep them in a place where they don't get too much humidity uh, but in a place where you can get them out and have a look at them when you want to All right, nice collection there thank you very much okay I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time